Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, so it's been a couple days, more than a couple days, since I've done any of the chakra healing spreads, and I wanted to apologize. Mercury was definitely uh, taking its toll <laughs> on things, and I've actually had to um, edit completely differently. Uh, my iMovie still is not exporting, so Mercury's winning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm back again, and we're going to do the heart chakra balancing spreads for everyone. And instead of doing the long intro, which was like five minutes where I was talking the whole time, I decided to do all of the heart chakra balancing um, items or information for you at the end of the video. So if you want to watch it, it's in, it's in video form. You can pause it and just screenshot it on your phone and then you'll just have it and you don't have to sit there and listen to me talk. So I feel like everyone will be uh, more appreciative of that than having to listen to me talk because I was getting annoyed. So anyways, hope that this intro is a little bit easier to deal with. All right, <laughs> here are your readings. Hello Virgo! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to get these back up. Mercury's been winning. So, okay, today we're going to start with your heart chakra balancing. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, and my ancestors, please allow me to set my ego aside and deliver Virgo the messages for their highest good and whatever it is that they need to balance their heart chakra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, so the first card is going to be representing your heart chakra right now, Virgo. <clears throat> Despondence, okay. So you're feeling like a loss of hope. Um, I feel like you feel completely disconnected from spirit, Virgo. Like, I feel like there's like a huge disconnection right now. And like, we are going through the retrograde for another seven days. It ends on the 28th. And then there's a three week uh, shadow period. So for three, three weeks after, so basically like almost um, into like the basically end of April is when the complete like shadow period will have passed with the Mercury retrograde. Um, but like for me, like this is upside down, right? So like there's, and then you see the, uh, the world, Gaia, like Mother Gaia, you see the flowers, the purple flowers. Like you're, I feel like you're just completely disconnected. Like you don't feel grounded. You don't feel connected to self at all. I don't feel confusion. I just feel, um, like I felt this feeling before I actually had a, a grounding session. So it's, it's very like, I mean, I'm an air sign, but for an earth sign to feel so um, ungrounded is probably very unsettling for you. And so there's like a loss of hope, like serious loss of hope. Like there's not, nothing can change the way I feel right now. <clears throat> um, how can Virgo improve their self-love? So how can they, they improve this, please? Uh, you need to go into isolation. Nothing outside of you is going to fix the way you feel. This disconnection is only going to be solved by going within and finding yourself again. And I know that some people think that, that is corny, but listen, <clears throat> like I saw somebody say something like, I can't do yoga. My mind won't slow down. In my mind, when I hear that, what that says to me is this person will never fully have control over their emotions because they let their mind run amok. Your mind is running such a muck right now that it's got you disconnected completely from the roots that ground you and you are an earth sign. You guys need to feel that ground underneath you. Um, as an air sign, you know, 
we're everywhere. We're all over the place. You know, it's that's what we do. But you're an earth sign. So for you to be this ungrounded is really intense. Um, you're probably really going through it right now. And no one outside of you is going to help you. Nothing outside of you. No uh, people, no, no uh, traveling, alcohol, you know, weed, whatever it is that is your way of healing. Normally, that is not going to solve it this time. Our paradigms have switched. And what was working for us to solve the way we were feeling in that regard is no longer going to work. And you're feeling this at a really high rate. Uh, what is something that they can do so they can embrace the like allowance of forgiveness for self? So they can go into isolation, please. How can Virgo allow forgiveness of self? Renewal. Yeah, look at this. She's meditating, okay? Like, I'm not blowing smoke up my ass here when I say, like, there's a need to meditate. And I know a lot of people that are watching my stuff, like maybe you have searched um, for YouTube and stuff, but I know a lot of people that are watching my stuff are from like my industry. And a lot of us in this industry, it's go, 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 go. Like you're, there is no time in our minds. And this is how I was. So I understand it. There is no time to meditate. I don't have five minutes to sit down and do nothing. What are you talking about? You want me to focus on my breathing? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You have to. You have to sit down and focus on your breathing because without this isolation, you are going to continue to feel disconnected from the earth. And you're an earth sign, baby. You cannot do that to yourself. Your guides, your higher self, whoever you respond to that that makes sense to you, they want you to go into isolation. Fuck, Phil Good, he, used to, he said that when he started meditating, he would go into the closet. I don't know if Phil Good still meditates in his closet or not. But that's where he felt the safest. There is a, a literal closet. If you need to go into the closet and close the door because that's the only place that you can get that silence, do that because that's what's necessary for you to, again, see she's connected with the ground, okay? There's a disconnection here. It's like upside down and then the, see how she's connected now? You need this. You need this so bad, so bad. Okay, and what's, uh, I totally had these set up wrong. Sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm just getting excited here. I know that you guys aren't Capricorn. I was saying sorry to Capricorn because I think I had the layout wrong. Um, what's the best way for Virgo to balance the chakra, please? Faith. Okay. Wow. There's like, there's, this message is loud and clear, and I don't think that they're going to change their idea on this or what they're saying at all. <laughs> I don't think this is going to change at all. What's the result of them balancing the chakra, please? That insecurity that you feel, that connection, that if you feel connected to someone on an energetic level, that's going to dissipate because you're, by connecting to self, you're cutting the cord, the energetic cord to others around you that you shouldn't be connected to. Okay. And it's funny that I said Capricorn because like normally in the normal terrible tarot deck, the, the devil card, like this always seems like the devil card to me because he's still like, he's, he doesn't have chains like the way the normal tarot devil card does, but like, he's got like, here's how big the devil is. And this is how big he's seeing it. So in his mind, he's chained to these problems to me. Like there's a connection, there's an energetic connection here and that's going to sever. And if you have these energetic connections, like maybe this is what this means, like all of these vines. And it's like, you can't seem to get through to self because all of these vines around you, like these, yeah, these energetic connections around you are fucking up your connection to self. And what is going to happen when you allow yourself to go into isolation and to renew is you're going to find a new found uh, level of faith where you are surrounded by your guides. And look at, here she is again. There's no, vi there's no vines fighting you. It's just her holding the earth and you're connected to all of that. Okay. Your guides, your ancestors, your angels, whoever you guys respond to in that regard, because everyone's got their own perspectives on things. I don't want to push mine, but they're there. You have support. And this is going to end. This is going to end. All these ties are going to dissipate the minute that you go into your faith and meditate. She's meditating. 
She's sitting outside in the sun. The sun is hurting, hitting her third eye. Okay. There's a necessity for you to, to go do that hugely. And I know like where I'm living in Oregon, it's been really nice. Like today's kind of cloudy, but Oregon's pretty bipolar too with their weather. So, but if the it's been 72 degrees. I was, I had to take my sweater off yesterday when I was walking to Starbucks. So, all right, now I'm going to pull a Lightworker Oracle card for Virgo. Please give me a message for Virgo. Message for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to hear? One card, guys. I only do one card with these because they are, um, it's such a long message. Wow, Master Healing. That's really beautiful, Virgo. This card is gorgeous. And 33, that's an incredible, that's a master number. Look at this. Wow. Look at these cards. See the theme here? Your guides are reaching out to you. That is such a badass card. All right. I like that my nails match the card. <laughs> so 33 let me read this to you guys <clears throat> as you meditate <laughs> they're consistent with their messages you know they didn't want to they wanted to make sure that that i understood so that i could give it to you guys we get it guys i'm catching it all right remain true to what inspires your heart and commit to your spiritual path you begin, <clears throat> excuse me, you become an increasingly powerful healer. You are here to live your own life, to be true to what genuinely moves you. The unconditionally loving guide and ascended master, Serapis Bay, comes to you now with the blessing of master healing to further your success on your path. Wow, that's beautiful. The master Serapis Bay is a beloved guide for those who feel a strong soul connection to ancient Egypt. For healers who are developing their own modalities and those who love to work with high frequency concepts. He also assists with the translation of spiritual inspiration into practical worldly plans. He comes to confirm that this ascended masters are aware of you. You're an integral part of a powerful spiritual team that has taken physical incarnation to help awaken consciousness into love. Wow, Virgo, this card's beautiful. You are asked to tune into your heart. What do you love enough to overcome any obstacle to obtain it? What motivates and inspires you? Not what seems impossible or practical, but what is authentic to you? We are most powerful when we serve authentically from the heart. A bird might learn how to dive underwater from time to time, but is never going to be at its most powerful if it has to live underwater. It would struggle to thrive if we're forced to itself into such unnatural expressions of its life energy. The bird yearns to fly because that is its divine nature and purpose. You too have divine nature and purpose and your heart holds the clues. What feels most like you? It is difficult to access the truth of our own nature when we believe we should live up to the expectations of others. If we are attached to an outcome, okay, attached to things, see these vines, or afraid of an answer, we can unintentionally block our perspective faculties, a spiritual version of sticking our fingers in our ears and shouting blah blah blah. The blessing of Serapis Bay includes his clear flame of divine cleansing light. This can assist us in letting go of whatever blocks us from knowing the truth of our nature. When we are willing to be who we are, the universe can more easily guide us to fulfill our destinies. Serapis Bay will help you see yourself truthfully. You may gain feedback from others that helps you understand the value of what you share, or you may simply find it easier to view yourself objectively with a compassionate, appreciative, and discerning inner eye. As you learn and accept who you are, you become a more powerful vibration for masters to put use in the plan of love. If you have a dream in your heart, know that it has been placed there for divine purpose. What you dream and desire contains the seed of divinity. It is meant to help attract your life mission and fulfill it with love, joy, creativity, and pleasure. If we are willing to go through what is necessary for an outcome, it will happen for us. The details may appear different from what we imagined they would, 
but the truth remains if you ask for something and are willing to go through the process required to have that come to life, it will happen for you. The universe is that generous, unconditionally supportive, and loving of you. It is your creative partner. It will provide you with all that you need to manifest your dreams, desires, and destiny. That's really beautiful, Virgo. Um, cut these cords. Put your phone on silent for a couple days, you know? If, yo, be like Cardi. It ain't about money. Don't call me, you know? Or is it or Ariana? I think Ariana's new song says that too. It's not about money. It's a wrong number. <laughs> I think that new, yeah, it was Ariana. They both say it, okay? All us girls out here saying, nope. <laughs> it's money or don't call me. We're on some shit, okay? Divine feminines are on some shit right now. But really, um, it's time for you to cut the cords, to, to stop looking at the things in your life as, as bigger than they are. All right, Virgo, uh, there is an invocation that will be with this, and I'm going to put it at the end of this reading for you. I hope that it helps you. And um, drink some water after you say it, because sometimes those can take a little more energy than you guys would expect. All right, namaste, Virgo. Thank you.